one one draw against Park Thistle this evening. In the end, it must be a tough one for you guys to take. As um, I think if you look at the game, we're probably lucky to still win the game in the first half. We're really sloppy and it's something we addressed. Um, boys that come on at half time done great for us. Um, as you say, it's an absolute signal to lose that game with maybe 15 20 seconds to go. Especially under the circumstances, we feel that it was a definite foul on uh, Fauna. So it's a hard one to take. Um, it seems to be that we're getting a lot of decisions against us, and it's, it's a hard one to take at the minute. But at the end of the day, it's three games in a row we've not won. You can put a positive spin on that and say three games unbeaten. So it depends what way you want to look at it. But right now, it just feels as if we're giving up a lot of chances to, to get really in the playoffs. When you look at the first half and you mentioned there how you had to address things at half time, was it just being outnumbered in the middle of the park because you seemed to change shape a little bit in the second half to try and combat that? Yeah, I felt as if the defenders were getting out quite easy with the ball, we were playing three to the back, they were throwing out with the ball, playing diagonals and I felt the game was really stretched, um, didn't feel we had a foothold in the game at all, um, they fit the crossbar, they missed a penalty so we've been very fortunate to have been the game, um, fair put the manager and the staff for changing the, the formation, it's something we've probably not done this year, play three at the back, but I um, thought it worked well, thought things changed and as we've seen we're a bit disappointed not to come away with three points. When you look at the goal that we scored, a bit of invention from the corner, a great finish from you and Murray and we defended so well up to that point and after that point it looked like we were going to grind out a, a big victory for ourselves so like you said that, that last crossing at the end was about the only thing that we didn't deal with on the, on the night but those are the small margins aren't they? It is fine lines in football yeah, they're the sort of things if you see that out they get you in the playoffs um, that's the difference between playoffs and mid-table um, it's a hard one to take but as you say if, as you mentioned digging in it feels as if as a squad we've really dug in start of the season if you had to mention the three boys that are out injured now they'd be three of our biggest players they have been three of our biggest players and uh, we're without them so fair play to the boys that have come in digging in uh, we're scrapping we're, anyone is going to miss the best striker in the league and obviously we're missing Nizzy he is the best striker in the league and any team's going to feel the effects of that but fair, fair play to the boys that have come in we need to play a bit differently uh, and we're doing our best to dig in until we get them back off the top of my head, I think it's four points now, the difference between ourselves and Dundee and fourth we travel there on Saturday. Do you feel it's a, a game we need to take three points in to keep our hopes of the I playoffs alive? Every game to the end of the season is a must win. If you're wanting to be in the playoffs, let's be honest, we keep, we keep missing chances. There's no going away for that. We've got a young group and we've got a good group and they'll get better and better. Uh, but as a club, we want to be in the playoffs. We've got good enough, got good enough players, so every opportunity we miss, we're bitterly disappointed. Eight games to go, good travelling support tonight. You'll be hoping for another one on Saturday just to try and get us over the line. Yeah, listen, it's one of the hardest places to go in the league. Let's not kid ourselves on. Dundee's a hard place to go. Uh, we took a slow one in the first half there uh, early in the season, but I think we'll be a different, different team turn up this time. Um, we've got a bit between our teeth. We're really digging in for each other, and it's something we'll do again Saturday. But as you mentioned, the travelling fans are great. Um, hoping for another big, another big effort for them. Well, big effort, eight efforts for them for the end of the season, and because they've got, they've got a team in the pitch, it's really going to give their all as well. Perfect, thanks, Pete. Cheers, thank you.